Yeah, he died uh, as, as a cause of leukemia. We know that he's been has been ill for a long time already. He was 96 years old, and um, there's a lot of mourning going on, especially on social media. A lot of Chinese um, voice their grief, and uh, they associate Jiang Zemin uh, with a time that, in retrospect, seemed much easier and more peaceful. And to give you an idea who he was, he came to power as the president of the People's Republic in 93. And, um, yeah, he was seen as a compromise at, at, at the beginning, as a bureaucrat, actually. But then in the end, he turned out to be quite an economic reformer. And his a true legacy has not really been fully appreciated up until this day. And he was definitely a different personality than the leader we have right now. I mean, for example, on YouTube, you can find a lot of videos where he would be very charismatic, for example, you know, singing Elvis Presley songs or there's one very famous um, press conference where he was getting very emotional over you know a critical question by a reporter and he was very very close to the people actually well Jiang's death he, it comes at a very sensitive time for the Chinese government given the protests we're seeing across the country doesn't it Fabian Yes, definitely. In 1989, it was actually also the death of a Chinese uh, politician who, uh, in, in his the morning uh, that followed, was basically leading to the uh, protest, the, the Tiananmen protests that were cracked down very hard at that time, and there, there was a bloody crackdown. Now we've seen also, I mean, not as big protests, but also political protests, the first actually after several decades. And of course, um, the leadership is very nervous whether Jiang Zemin's death would spark another outcry or another wave of protests or not.